Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second match of the Kasafa Super League doubleheader. This is Barbican, and they will face off against Real Mona. Welcome if you're just joining us. My name is Christopher Scott, and I'll be your commentator for this evening. Don't forget to subscribe to Island Sports Network on YouTube. Like us on Facebook and subscribe on the website islandsports.net and download our mobile app Island Sports Network as the players get ready. And we'll pause momentarily for the playing of the national anthem. We are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. As we said before, Real Mona, they're facing off against the Barbican. And if you're just joining us, you missed the first of two matches that we broadcast live every Friday and Saturday. Kasafa Super League doubleheader action. And the Constant Spring, they recorded their first win of the season. They defeated Maxfield Park by two goals to nil. That was the end of the first game. Now it is the second game. And just to read the lineups for you, we have Kimar Thomas, then Joel Nichols, Loxley Thompson, Tajay Dixon, Malik Douglas, Ramin Husang, Andrew Christie, Dan Dadrian Dixon, Mario McDonald, Okai Blake, and in goal, Donovan Walker. And then for Real Mona, we have Kenry. Pianite, Desmond Watson, Andrew Pedler, George Pinnock, Shea Bogle, Kimoy Phillips, Ramon Bryant, Ryan Reed, Gamoy Sibbles, Jordan Petrikin, and Matthew Bell. And so those are the lineups for both teams. And so Barbican will kick things off. 
And off and running we go here in the second match for the doubleheader of Kasafa Super League. Barbican, they're actually in first place at the moment for zone A. And then right behind them is actually Malines United with seven points. And Mid Forest with seven. Real Mona just trailing back in fourth place. And they have seven points as well. So a win today would actually put them tied on points with Barbican. And their goal difference not superior as it's just one, actually one behind Mid Forest. So they'll be looking to turn things around. Real Mona. Ramona with a chance gobbled up by Pianite and sent forward. Actually by Donovan Walker. Sent forward. Now it is with Real Mona. And they still have it. Sent to Jordan Petrikin. Petrikin sends it back. Pinnock sends it across and turns back and notes with Pinnock again. Just taking their time, Real Mona, chipping that ball forward. Couldn't find Phillips. Goes into touch for a throw to Real Mona. And Phillips will take this throw. Take it quickly. Bryant send that one over and it's back to Bryant again. Real Mona. And it just cheekily taken down and sent forward and able to find his teammates. So it will be possession Barbican. Barbican with possession at the moment. Send that ball forward. Only falls to Real Mona. But they still do try to latch on to that one. That was through Kimar Thomas. But he goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. Take it quickly. Now it's with Dadrian Dixon. Dixon sends that ball forward. And Barbican can attack. Oh, that's a brilliant ball forward. Will it make it one? Wide of the target. But it will be a corner to Barbican. So Barbican surging forward early. Just three and a half minutes. And they're trying to stomp their feet and stake their claim early on in this match. And send a message to the rest of the teams in zone A. That we're the leaders and we take control. So if they do win this match, they go six points above second, third and fourth. And one of those teams in that bracket is actually the team they're playing now. Ball sent across. And Pianite of Real Mona who sent that ball long. Controlled. Ryan Reed sends that ball forward and now it is with Real Mona. Sending the ball across. Trying to find Shane Bogle. Shane Bogle. Sends that one across the goal line. It will be a goal kick to Barbican. Goal kick taken quickly. Illegally tackled, so it will be a free kick to Barbican. 
Another dangerous effort. So Barbican with the opportunity. Swung inside the 18-yard box and met by the goalkeeper. Still danger for Real Mona. And it's headed inside. Trying to latch on to that one. Is one to Jay Dixon. But it did come off a Real Mona player. So it will be a corner to Barbican. So Barbican pressing. And actually, Tajay Dixon started on the bench last week and shows some flair and creativity for the crowd to please. And that's why he's in the starting 11. Ball sent across deep. And uh, that cross in the end does nothing. Doesn't trouble the goalkeeper. So it will be a goal kick to Real Mona. Just to make mention, Jordan Petrikin, who plays for Real Mona, is actually a schoolboy football footballer. Played for St. George's College in the Manning Cup Finals against the Kingston College, where they actually lost by three goals to two. And uh, a very versatile player, can play the central defensive midfield role, but also can play the centre-back role, which he actually often plays at Real Mona and sometimes plays for St. George's College under the man Neville Bertis Bell but sometimes thwarts him in the central attacking or central defensive midfield role and very versatile and effective player starts here today but Barbican with possession sends that ball across it's at the 18-yard box at a strike defensive work by Real Mona goes into touch for a throw to Barbican so danger, still pressure by Barbican, ball swung in, and a shot again, blocked, and Petrikin sends that one forward, and Petrikin back with the ball, now it's with Matthew Bell who sends that across, and it goes into touch for a throw to Barbican, trying to take it quickly is Malik Douglas, and he sends that one, Side the 18-yard box, able to meet someone. And now a shot wide up the target. It will be a goal kick to Real Mona. Ball sent across. Watson trying to send that across to Pinner. Sending that one inside is Barbican. And again, a shot blocks by Petrikin. And a shot again, wide up the target. They just keep coming and coming and coming, Barbican. And they're not letting up at all. And uh, it is a goal kick to Real Mona. Real Mona would have to be careful. Those crosses sent inside the 18 yard box most times dangerously just needs to meet the head of a Barbican player. And some of them not the tallest of players. No Loxley, a former Premier League player. He's not the tallest of individuals, also Malik Douglas. So there's a disadvantage there somewhat. Sent across to Kai Blake. Sends it forward to Malik Douglas. Douglas. And it's still Douglas. Sending that ball across. Trying to find Loxley Thompson. Unable to. Defensive work done by Bogle. And Bogle uses his speed to get around the Barbican player. No. They could search forward. Interception by Barbican. 
And unable to latch on to that one is Kimar Thomas. So it will be a throw to Barbican. Last touch came off of a Real Mona player. Barbican with possession. Trying the trick. Trying to get by Shea Bogle. But cobbled up by Desmond Watson. Desmond Watson sends that forward. And Matthew Bell sends that across but intercepted. And now it's with Jordan Petrikin. Sends that across to Shea Bogle. Couldn't latch on to that one. So it will be a throw to Barbican. The ball went into touch. Don't forget, tomorrow on YouTube Live, Facebook Live, or website on our mobile app, it will be Red Stripe Premier League action from the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex. It will be Cavaliers. They face off against Dumby Holding. And yes, for the time being, because Stadium East is actually being renovated, Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex is the home of Cavaliers as well. So Arnett Gardens, not the only team to play at home at the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex. And it is a foul into Jay Dixon. And that foul is by George Pinnock. So it will be a free kick to Barbican. Just 11 and a half minutes gone in the contest. Free kick to be taken by Mario McDonald. Swinging that one inside and meeting the head of his Barbican teammate, unable to get enough power on that one. Rolled quickly. And Barbican with possession sends that one across. Now it's a Guy Blake. And a Guy Blake we want to send that one inside, unable to do so. In that one back, Mario McDonald with possession, sending that one across to Deidre Dixon. Dixon of Barbican sends that further across, and Barbican with possession, pushing. And Desmond Watson. Now it's with Jordan Petrikin. Petrikin sends that one across. To Phillips, who sends it to Petrikin again. And Phillips fouled by Malik Douglas. Minute sends that one back to Pinnock. Pinnock with the ball. Will launch up one forward. Only meets the feet of Blake, Archive Blake. Goes into touch for a throw to Real Mona. The throw to be taken by Bogle. Bogle launches that ball forward. And Ramona with a shot by Jordan Petrikin. And he hits the light on the back of the goal. And so it will be a goal kick to Barbican. First real chance. Ball sent forward. At the boot of Pedler. But Barbican with possession of Kai Blake. And trying to find... Malik Douglas, unable to do so, goes into touch for a throw to Real Mona. Taken quickly. Pinnock, back to Watson. Comfortable on the ball is Watson, sending that ball forward. Just it down. And Sibbles just loses it and actually illegally impedes Husang. Quickly taken, free kick. Now it's with Archive Blake. Tackled up. And giving the ball away to Sibbles. 
Sabu sends that one across, but it finds the Jay Dixon of Barbican. Chipping that ball forward. And headed down. And then taken up by Pianite of Real Mona, the goalkeeper. Launching that ball forward, trying to find Ryan Reed. And a foul committed, so it will be a free kick to Real Mona. Free kick taken, swung inside, headed by Matthew Bell, but he falls straight into the hands of the goalkeeper, Donovan Walker. Launched forward. Miscommunication there by Real Mona and a chance for Barbican to take advantage. And now it's with Loxley Thompson, former Premier League player, sends it back. Oops. Loops that ball across to Loxley Thompson. And Thompson with a chance to square it inside. And he will take on Desmond Watson. And does take him on. But the defensive work by Watson overcomes. And a shot. And given up. Ramona had a chance. To send the ball forward. Foul. Will be a free kick to Ramona. Barbican regains possession. Loxley Thompson sending that ball forward. And defensive work by Bogle. Throw to Barbican. Defensive work again. Another throw for Barbican. Christie sends that back to Dixon. Dixon sends that ball across to Kai Blake. Blake will try to latch on to that one. But defensive work by Jordan Petrikin. Sends it across. And Phillips sends it up. Intercepted. And now it's with Mario McDonald of Barbican. Sends it across to Akai Blake. Akai Blake looking for a pass and finds Malik Douglas or tries to find Malik Douglas. Defensive work by Phillips. Last touch from a Barbican player means that it's a throw to Real Mona. And Pinnock will take the throw. Matthew Bell unable to latch on to that one, but Tajay Dixon did. And unable to send that ball to Loxley Thompson. PNI collects that one quite comfortably. Ryan Reed trying to latch on to that one. And instead goes to the other goalkeeper. So one goalkeeper to the other. Rolled straight to Dadrian Dixon. Dixon looking for a pass and finds it. And Barbican just surging forward and the speed, but intercepted by Bogan. Now it's with Matthew Bell of Real Mona, twisting and turning, trying to get by Richard Husang. And sending that ball forward is Bogle, trying to latch on to that one is Ryan Reed. And Matthew Bell again surging forward, defensive work. And now Real Mona can attack and the ball sent forward. And again, the goalkeeper has to be called into question. And clipped by Sibbles. An 
Elite challenge. And the referee just trying to see if the goalkeeper is okay. He says, yes, I'm fine. Just a little knock. But I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm ready. So, it's a free kick to Barbican. And now it's Mario McDonald urging his players forward. And they are slowly going forward. Sends it across to Deidre Dixon. Deidre Dixon slowly trotting forward. Meets the head of Shea Bogle. Now it's with Petrikin. And now Barbican again can attack, but intercepted by Phillips. Sent forward for Gamoy Sibbles. And Okaive Blake. He illegally impeded Sibbles, so free kick to Ramona. Free kick, rather goal kick to Barbican. Almost 22 minutes gone in this contest. Barbican just slowly and methodically going forward at their own pace, which is why they've gotten so many opportunities against Real Mona. Ramona not short of opportunities, but I think more opportunities fall to Barbican. And they just slowly go forward. And that, I think, is the reason why they've had the opportunities. So, Barbican would love to just cement their first place spot, at least for another week. Brilliant work done there. And a shot blocked. Again, a shot blocked. And the third time's the charm. No, it's not. And it falls to the keeper, Pianite. Sent forward by Kendrick Pianite. Chested down by Gamoy Sibbles. Challenged by Husang. And that wasn't the greatest decision by Gamoy Sibbles. And there was actually a very good pass to Ryan Reed, but didn't see it at all. And now Mario McDonald twisting and turning. Now it's with Christy. Christy sends up one across to Archive Blake. Blake sends up one forward to Malik Douglas. And tried the one-two behind the back pass to Tajay Dixon, but intercepted by Pinnock. Now it's with Real Mona. And hand to the face by Bryant. It means that there's a free kick to Barbican. And you can't do that. Kive Blake with the ball for Barbican. Sending that one across. At the head of Bogle. But Barbican does have possession again. Defensive work constantly by Real Mona. And Barbican applying the pressure. Just it down. Barbican. Again coming forward. And Christy to Husang. Husang back to Christy. Christy looping that ball forward, trying to find Akai Blake. Does latch on to that Akai Blake, being challenged by Phillips. And uh, it goes into touch for a throw. And Pinnock turning and sending it to the goalkeeper, Pianite. Pianite looking for a pass upfield. Joel Nicholas trying to set that ball forward. Intercepted. Ryan Reed with the ball at the moment for Real Mona. Sends it to Matthew Bell. Bell twisting and turning, finding Jordan Petrikin. 
Petrikin leaves it for George Pinnock. Pinnock sends it to Petrikin now. Petrikin, the schoolboy football, sends it across to Gamoy Sibbles. Gamoy Sibbles loses it to Akai Blake, who sends it forward and meets Andrew Christie. Christie of Barbican sends it to Akai Blake, who launches that ball forward, trying to find Tajay Dixon. And now it's with George Pinnock. And a handled ball by Kimar Thomas. Free kick to Rio Mona. 25 and a half minutes gone in this contest. So about 20 or under 20 minutes left. 19 and a half if my math is correct. As we see George Pinnock latching onto the ball. Sends it across to Jordan Petrikin. Petrikin, the schoolboy football player, sends it back to George Pinnock. Trying to send it forward. And a very good tackle by Bryant. Sends it across to Petrikin. Petrikin. Ball intercepted by Husang, who sends it back to Akai Blake. McDonald launches that ball forward. Christie sends it back to Blake. Blake intercepted by Pinnock. Petrick in, trying to launch that ball forward, unable to find Gomoy Sibbles. Take it quickly by Blake. Trying to send it for Dixon. Was intercepted. No, Dixon. We'll try to latch on to that one. He goes into touch for a through to Real Mona. Now Bryant with the ball for Real Mona. Still Bryant. Tackled by Andrew Christie. And it is a free kick to Real Mona. Still a stalemate here. At uh, the Constant Spring football field, the second match of our Kasafa Super League doubleheader. And the first match ended in a 2 0 victory for Constant Spring Football Club. As so we see, Akai Blake of Barbican sending that ball forward, finding no one but the boot of Watson, who sends that one across. And unable to find Pedler. And now Barbican with possession. Joel Nicholas with the ball. Barbican with possession. Now it's Nicholas again who sends it across to Malik Douglas. And a wayward shot. I think he missed that one. So he rode. He rode it onto the feet of Pianite. Pianite says thank you very much. And sends that ball forward. Unable to find Gamoy Sibbles. Finds the boot of Husang. And remain Husang still. He's still surging forward. And a brilliant interception by Phillips. And now it's with Matthew Bell. They almost lost it. And Bryant sends it to Pinnock, who sends it forward to Phillips. Gamoy Sibbles sends it across to Bell. Loops that ball forward. Beautifully done to Phillips. And Real Mona with a chance. And defensive work. By Mario McDonald. Goes outside for a corner to Real Mona with a chance to maybe go ahead. 26 and a half minutes gone. And Real Mona corner. Came up nothing in the end from that corner. So it will be a goal kick to Barbican. Heads that one into touch for a throw to Real Mona. Bogle. To take this throw. Sending that ball forward to find Ryan Reed. Now it's with Matthew Bell. Bell of Ramona sending that ball forward to Gamoy Sibbles. 
and a free kick to Barbican. Kicking quickly. Pedler sends that ball forward to Gamoy Sibbles. Gamoy Sibbles with the ball and sending it across. And a real chance through Matthew Bell, but defensive work. Danger averted for Barbican. Now it's with Deidre and Dixon who sends it back. Husang sends that one across, trying to find Malik Douglas. Goes out of touch. Last touch by Malik Douglas. And a throw by George Pinnock meets the head of Malik Douglas. Now it's with Andrew Christie who sends it to Malik Douglas. Looping that ball forward to Tajay Dixon. Oh, that was cheekily done. But the referee says no, no handed ball by Bryant. Now it's with Petrick who sends it across to Bogle. Bogle. And Bogle sends that ball forward to Ryan Reed. Tackled by Dadrian Dixon. Free kick to Real Mona. Ball in the end, not troubling the goalkeeper. Kive Blake to Douglas. Back to Blake who launches that ball forward, unable to find Loxley Thompson. And defensive work by Pinnock. Since I wanted to touch for a throw, quickly taken. Finding Luxley Thompson and a very rash challenge and a yellow card, rightfully so, to Desmond Watson. Just taking that through very, very early. And a rash challenge by Desmond Watson. And that was the yellow carded challenge. Two men well built. Malik Douglas sending that one inside. And the roof of the net. And a Goal kick to Real Mona. 33 and a half minutes gone in this contest. Real Mona and the Barbican still locked at nil all. And the Barbican actually have been undefeated in this competition. Three wins and a draw. So they're currently on 10 points. They will be looking to stretch that lead to six with third, second, third, and fourth, all on seven. And they have created the chances, but not converted them. And not really like Barbican to do so. As we know, Barbican had a chance of going into the Premier League but fell short to Dumby Holding and a beautiful backheel pass to Phillips by Ryan Reed. Sends it across to Bell. Bell tackled by Christie to Jay Dixon of Barbican with the ball. And a lazy pass but he does get it back. And it's to Jay Dixon. And Petrick in. 
to the delight of the crowd. So Jay Dixon trying to get by Petrikin, but a very sturdy defender. And in an offside call by the referee on Gamoy Sibbles. And he's quite the eccentric player. Tajay Dixon, as I said, came off the bench. And uh, to the delight of the crowd. And he starts here tonight. He was a substitute last week, but he is a starter tonight. So you see the ball going to touch for a throw to Barbican. Dadrian Dixon sends that ball forward to Joel Nicholas. And it's Nicholas surging forward with the ball. Still Nicholas to Loxley Thompson. Unable to send it back to Nicholas. And now it's with Matthew Bell of Real Mona. And defensive work done there by Ramin Husang. Through to Real Mona. Real Mona with the possession. Too much on it. And it goes behind for a goal kick. Sending that ball forward. Mario McNannon unable to find someone in a Barbican kit. But it falls to Ramon Bryant. Sends it across to George Pinnock who sends it to Petrokin. Petrokin sends it across to Phillips. Phillips loops that ball forward. Finding Bell. Sends it across. And uh, Pedler sends that ball forward to Gamoy Sibbles who is unable to latch on to that. The keeper says thank you very much. Now it's with a Kive. Blake of Barbican surging forward. Tackled by Gamoy Sibbles. Gamoy Sibbles falling a Kive Blake. And the referee says, You can't do that. You have to let him go. And he wouldn't heed that call. And so. It is a foul. Take it quickly now. It's with a Kive who sends it to Andrew Christie. Being tackled by Jordan Petrikin. It's still Andrew Christie. Sending that ball forward. Oh, beautiful ball sent forward. And now Barbican with an opportunity again. And uh, collected by the goalkeeper, Pianite. Sent forward. Unable to find Sibbles. Lands to the boot of Christie, who sends it across to Blake. Blake chips that ball forward and finds or attempts to find Douglas. Desmond Watson gobbles that one up. Chip, chipped ball to Phillips, who gets it back. And it's Phillips with the ball. Launches that ball forward, finding Ryan Reed beautifully. And now Ryan Reed with the ball, turning. Might have gotten himself into danger. And defensive work by Barbican means they have averted danger. And now Barbican with possession. Kimar Thomas sends it across to Romain Husang. Husang sends it further across. Sends it forward for Tajay Dinks who heads it for Loxley Thomas on a shot. High and wide of the target. Will be a goal kick to Real Mona. And as we spoke about Jordan Petrikin being a versatile player, as we see. Him playing the defensive midfield role today. And he is in the center circle at the moment. And uh, this goes to show you how versatile he can be. 
a very defensive minded player and he actually played for Kingston College the year before and he came to St. George's College so played in the finals and I tell you Jamal Pusey who played for Central Kingston played for St. George's College the year before in the Manning Cup and then played for Kingston College against his former team and won in the Manning Cup finals and a shot high wide of the target so my oh my how the times changed but it's Kasafa Super League action here at the Constant Spring football field Real Mona versus Barbican they still are locked at nil all don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel hit the notification bell so you know when we're streaming another match don't forget on Sunday, Red Stripe Premier League action. It is one Cavaliers. They do face off against Dumbay Holding. And if it remains like this, Ramona goes into second on eight points. And the Barbican stay ahead. And they would have 11 points. So, intercepted Christie. No, to Dixon, back to Christie. Tackled by Jordan Petrikin. And it is still Christie. Christie of Barbican. Archive Blake. The ball sent to Malik Douglas. And sends it back to Christie, who sends that one inside. The 18 yard box handed by Watson. Headed on by Bryant. And in the end, sent even further by Phillips. Joel Nicholas sends that ball forward, trying to find Tajay Dixon. Defensive work by Andrew Pedler. Fall by Tajay Dixon. Free kick to Real Mona. Just over 42 minutes gone, so under three minutes left. For a team to get on the score sheet. For a team to convert their chances. Phillips latches on to that one. Sending that ball forward to Sibbles. Through to Barbican. Take it quickly. With Mario McDonald. And Mario McDonald send that one forward. Trying to find Loxley Thompson. Bryant. Send that one back, and now it's with Loxley Thompson. And the defensive work by Jordan Petrikin again. Headed on by McDonald. Now it's with Joel Nicholas, who sends that one to Dixon. Deidre Dixon sends that ball forward. Meets the head of Bryant. Now it's with Gamoy Sibbles. And intercepted by Malik Douglas. Mario McDonald. Send that ball forward. Unable to find Kimar Thomas, but Kimar Thomas latches on to that one. Defensive work by Shea Douglas. And the foul committed by Kimar Thomas. Free kick to Real Mona. Just over 43 and a half minutes gone. Sent forward. Matthew Bell. Able to control that one properly. Christie. No Barbican can search forward. Andrew Christie with the ball. And an opportunity. And the keeper made a mistake to the humor of the crowd and almost cost Ramona a goal late in the first half. Ball sent forward, trying to find Gamoy Sibbles. And Hussein lets the ball roll out for a throw. Archive Blake. Malik Douglas. Being tackled. Throw again to Barbican. Clive Blake 
Trying to find Loxley Thompson, but it doesn't fall to Malik Douglas. Sending that one across. Defensive work. Sent forward for Ryan Reed. And it's actually an offside call. 45 minutes have elapsed. And now it's Joel Nicholas. Joel Nicholas sends the ball forward, trying to find Loxley Thompson. Unable to do so. Through to Barbican. And the referee has requested a ball, but he says no. He has already gotten one, so play on. And Nicholas with the ball. Pushes it off, sends it inside. Defensive work. And that is the end of the first half. No one able to convert their chances. And at the end of 45 minutes, at the end of the first half, it is a stalemate. It is Real Mona nil, Barbican nil. We are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. Remember God is standing by. He's standing by. I'll save you from the stormy night. Oh God, God set me free. God set well, me free. Because I take my troubles to thee. No more will I worry.
na 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 David Slay, Black Figo If you saw that it makes Would it look good in the mirror? Imagine if it was a diamond Would it be worth a lot of moolah? Would your personality be fortune to make you wealthy? Maybe we just don't know And leave without even knowing Shattered dreams and broken hearts Success you've been waiting, oh you made it. Only good days ahead feels elating. Oh you made it, see your hard work come to life. Feels like you've got the whole world in your hands now. Don't, don't lose, lose your soul, don't lose yourself in it. All. The man in the mirror, remember what you stand for. Don't, don't lose, lose your soul, don't lose yourself in it. All. The man in the mirror. Seba muri daban daban jagala kambian se ne wala ne wala nyo seba trave fiti na tera tada recorda recorda look in the mirror look in the mirror mirror and try to remember try to remember yourself no sell your soul for the wealth life journey journey silence there spiritual health are your strength oh no I could never no forget my Can't 
Halftime interview here with the owner of Real Mona, and that is Peter Moses. Uh, how are you doing, sir? Well, I'm fine, but uh, I'm not the owner. I'm the president. <laughs> the president of Real Mona. And I see an interesting writing on your shirt. Um, you're about, how much you say? We're close to 55 years now. Close. This was our 50th anniversary. Close to 50th anniversary, um, or close to 55 years uh, for Real Mona. You said you were you were a baby when when, no, when I, it was I, here. I the first year, yes, <laughs> but I could hardly walk. <laughs> okay, so a stalemate here um, at the half. We see some good defensive work by Real Mona, but they were caught sometimes off guard by the attack of Barbican. What do you think they can shape up? Well, I think we just have to track the Barbican players a bit better. They're moving off the ball very well. I think close, close to halfway the half, I think we started to get into our own, started to get into their last third much more often. They were really on top of us for the first half of the first half. But I think we're starting to find our rhythm now and picking up the open spaces a little better. All right. What do you think was the strength of Real Mona in the first half? Well, I think, as you said, our ability to defend and take the pressure. Uh, we're missing a few players through injury, so the team has had to adjust a bit. And I think they are settling down now um, in terms of the adjustment. All right, we speak to countless people in terms of the schoolboy footballers that are playing. One particular per person is Petrikin, yeah. who played in the Manning Cup Finals, played for Kingston College the year before, yeah. and now played for St. George's College last season. What do you think about him in this season for the Kasafa Super League? Well, we have, you know, he has come through our youth program at Real Mona, so we know what he's capable of. He's a great player. Um, you know, at that age, you're still learning the game, and he's doing well. We have another schoolboy on the team, Matthew Bell, also a KC student, and we also have Duncan McKenzie. On the, on, the, on the reserve bench, who is also a schoolboy player, played in the Coles final for Jamaica College. So, you know, Real Mona has traditionally been building their club around young players, you know. So it's not surprising to have them in the team. Um, so, as you mentioned, Petrikin, this is his last year in school. So, you know, we'll be looking to help him to go off to university. All right. So, what will be the game plan heading into the second half for you to grab three points from leaders of Zone A, Barbican? Okay, well, you know, the first thing to do is to not make them come back in the second half and dominate us the way they started in the first half. So we need to settle back into our rhythm very quickly. You know, half time is a good thing for the players in terms of rest. It's also a good thing for the coaches to be able to talk strategy. But it's a real challenge for teams to go back out and get back that rhythm that they had in the first half. So I think for any of the two teams, the team that will dominate at the beginning um, will be the team that settles um, better in, in, at the start of this half. All right. Thank you so much and good luck in the second half. Thank you very much. All right. That was the president of Real Mona, Peter Moses. So at the end of the first half, 45 minutes have elapsed and it's a stalemate here at the Constant Spring football field. Real Mona nil, Barbican nil.
So we're back here for the second half. Technical difficulties, we have fixed the problem and so we're back. Constant Spring versus Real Mona. And now it's Andrew Christie, sends that one across to Joel Nichols, who sends that one inside the 18-yard box, unable to find the head of Loxley Thompson. And so Ramon Bryant challenges Joel Nichols and wins that battle. Gamoy Sibbles being challenged by Deidre Dixon. Good defensive work by Dixon. And Dixon is still down. And Mario McDonald sends that one across. And a brilliant ball. You'd want to use the speed. Malik Douglas. And it's Malik Douglas who sends that one back to Christie. Sends it to Malik Douglas. Chips that ball forward. Headed by Petrikin. And Desmond Watson with the ball for Real Mona. Chips that ball forward. Unable to find Phillips. And he goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. Want to be taken quickly. And it is Christie. Sends it back and sends one inside the 18-yard box. And headed on by Joel Nicholas, and it will be a throw to Real Mona. Take it quickly by, by Bogle, actually. Now it's with Watson. Watson sends that ball forward. Latching on to it is Joel Nicholas of Barbican, sending that ball forward. And unable to latch on to that one, Kimar Thomas. And it will be a throw to Real Mona. About 49 minutes gone in this contest. As you see Kamoy Sibbles latching on to that one, sending that ball across to Phillips. 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 It's back to Pinnock. Pinnock sends that ball forward. Headed on by the schoolboy football stand up bell. And uh, now it's Tajay Dixon. And he couldn't latch on to that one. And now it's with McDonald who sends that ball forward to Husang who sends it back to Dixon. Dixon looking for a pass and finds Mario McDonald. And McDonald sends that one over. Barbican with possession. Sending that one inside trying to find Loxley Thompson. And it's Tajay Dixon. It's the Jay Dixon who sends it back. And uh, Clive Blake. Being called back for a foul. So it will be a free kick to Real Mona. Take it quickly. Send forward. Only falls to the feet of Mario McDonald. Mario McDonald waits, tries to find a pass, only falls to the head of Phillips. Now it's with Real Mona. And a brilliant ball to Gamoy Sibbles. And uh, taken brilliantly by Joel Nichols. Bogle sends that ball forward. Real Mona does gain possession, but a tackle by Andrew Christie. And the referee just telling Christy to relax. As we see signs of frustration. Take him quickly. Headed on by McDonald. And couldn't latch on to that one is Malik Douglas. So don't forget, guys, to share this live broadcast. Subscribe to our channel, Allen Sports Network. Great defensive work by Bryant. Click the notification bell so you know when we do 
broadcast another game. Red Strap Premier League action tomorrow. Cavaliers, they face off against Dumby Holding. And then we do the preview of a Monday night's game. And that is going to be Waterhouse and they will face off against Arnett. And that will also take place at the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex. We will be doing the preview for that show. So stay tuned. More to come. Husang tackled by Petrikin to Jay Dixon almost latching on to that one. And Romain Husang knew he did that one. Just grabbed the hand. Notes with Joel Nicholas of Barbican trying to send that ball forward. Couldn't find Kimar Thomas. And Notice Dixon sends it to Thomas. Thomas tries to send that one inside. Defensive work done. And it goes behind for a corner to Barbican. And the number nine for Barbican, he is coming on. So Maurice Wilson comes on. And Loxley Thompson comes off. Sent inside, hits the referee, but they do still have possession. Chested by Akive Blake. Trying to send that ball forward for Malik Douglas. Defensive work by Desmond Watson. Goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. Jay Dixon back to Malik Douglas. Malik Douglas will send that one inside. No one at the back post. And it goes behind for a goal kick. Be challenged by Malik Blake and he sends it to Bell. Bell loses it. Now it's with Joel Nichols. Ball sent to Maurice Wilson who sends it to Tajay Dixon and he sends it to Romain Kusang who sends it across to Christie who then sends it to Malik Douglas. Malik Douglas with the ball for Barbican sends it across. Trying to find Maurice Wilson. Unable to do so. Ball sent long and finding no real Mona player. And he goes into touch and it will be a throw to Barbican. Tajay Dixon with the ball. Sends it to Christie. Christie sends it back to Blake. Sends it forward. A foul committed. Free kick to Real Mona. Yeah. 
Jordan Petrikin. Petrikin sends it to Bogle. Andrew Christie. Notes with Joe Nichols, who sends it back to Deidre Dixon. Mario McDonald. Now Joe Nicholas. Joe Nicholas to Douglas. Back to Nicholas again. And Barbican, very dangerous play here. So one across only meets the foot of Matthew Bell, but it falls back to Barbican through Archive Blake. And a shot wide of the target. And deflection. The referee has made his decision and it will be a corner to Barbican. Still with Barbican in enemy territory, send that one inside to Andrew Christie, and Andrew Christie with a shot blocked. Dixon of Barbican chips that ball forward. It's back with Andrew Christie. And Petrikin will try to challenge. Send him back to Mario McDonald. He surges forward. Donald trying to find Maurice Wilson. It's with Malik Douglas and now with Joe Nichols. Joe Nicholas trying to find TJ Dixon but unable to. Maurice Wilson the substitute sends it to Tajay Dixon and lays it off and a shot over the goal over the target and the fans Feeding into the excitement of Tajay Dixon. Also a substitution in the offing getting ready. Now it's with Malik Douglas, Barbican. Sharply turns from Douglas, chips it to Malik Douglas again. And now it's with Malik Douglas. And tries to get by Shea Bogle. Defensive work. And throw by Barbican. Take a quickly note with Tajay Dixon. Sends it back for Joel Nicholas. Sends it across in the back post. And it's still with Barbican with a chance. And the defensive work, neatly done by Phillips. Now it's with Ryan Reed. Ryan Reed launches that ball forward, trying to fight Gamoy Sibbles and does. Gamoy Sibbles latches onto that one and a very rash challenge by Archive Blake. Will be a free kick to Real Mona. Ball sent forward to Gamoy Sibbles. Sends it across. Now, no Bryant. Sending that ball inside the 18-yard box. It only falls to the keeper. 
Donovan Walker. And now Clyde Blake sends that ball forward. Trying to find Maurice Wilson. And now it's with Phillips. Avery Amona. Last touch by a Barbican player. And the throw to Ramona. Seems to be a foul throw. And Petrikin doing his defensive work again. And now Pedler trying to turn by Dixon. Dixon does foul Andrew Pedler. So free kick taken quickly. Now it's with Pinnock. Sends it across. Back to Pinnock. Sends that ball forward. Unable to find Sibbles. And now Barbican with possession. Andrew Christie. Sends that ball back to Blake. And Christie send it back to McDonald. McDonald again looking for a pass. And it does find Adrian Dixon. Slowly drifting into enemy territory. Now it's with Douglas who loses possession. And now it's with Ryan Reed. And the fouling again is to Jay Dixon. He does fall peddler. Take it quickly. Trying to find Sibbles, unable to. And now it's with Christie of Barbican. And a ball sent very, very well to Maurice Wilson. Send that one inside the 18 yard box. And uh, collected by P. Knight. Thrown only meets the chest of Nicholas, but it is gobbled up by Ryan Reed. And he is fouled by Joe and Nicholas. So it will be a free kick to Barbican. As we see a substitution in the offing, Wayne Williams is the man that is coming on for Real Mona. And it looks to be Bryant that's coming off. So Ramon Bryant... His evening is done. And sending that one inside the 18 yard box to Ryan Reed. And it's still another chance. Oh, blocked by Dixon. Barbican can now counter with Maurice Wilson. Wilson trying to send that one up for Tajay Dixon. Unable to do so. Now it is with Andrew Pedler of Real Mono. Who sends it to the substitute, Wayne Williams. Williams with the ball. Finds Ryan Reed. Ryan Reed sends it back to Pedler. Who sends it up to Wayne Williams. Williams twisting a turn in, trying to find a pass. No hounded. No to Matthew Bell. The referee... Has announced the throw for Real Mona. Shane Boga will take this one. He does launches that ball forward for Ryan Reed. Still danger for Barbican. It's with Patrick in who sends it over to Williams. Williams sends it forward to Ryan Reed. Ryan Reed shields Dixon off the ball, sends it across to Sibbles. And it's still danger. And a shot over the bar. Dangerous play for Real Mona. Almost 67 minutes gone. Just over 23 minutes left. And 
will be a goal kick to Barbican. Headed by Pedlo, finds Petrikin. Petrikin loses it. And now to Jay Dixon. And being challenged by Watson. Sends it back to Christie. Christie sends that ball across. And finds Dejan Dixon. He loses it. Now it's with Ryan Reed. And very good interception by Husang. Now Barbican with possession. Andrew Christie. Trying to get by Jordan Petrikin and a shot blocked by Pedlo. Tajay Dixon would try to latch on to that one. When instead, it's latched on by Phillips of Real Mona. Sends that one into touch for a throw to Barbican. Just over 68 minutes gone in this contest. Sending that one inside. Defensive work by Andrew Pedlo again. Goes behind for a corner. Andrew Pedler of Ramona sending that ball forward, finding no one but Joel Nicholas. But intercepted by Bogle. Bogle trying to loop that ball forward. Find Gamoy Sibbles and does. Sibbles. It's too much dealt with by Archive Blake. Another substitution in the offing. And Matthew Bell, he's coming off. And Duncan McKenzie, he's coming on. So. Matthew Bell, who Played for Kingston College. He comes off. And Duncan McKenzie comes on. Danger still for Barbican, who now averts danger. Now it's with Douglas. Sends it, up, sends it back and sends it across. And the goalkeeper was that one up, sends it forward and finds Bogle instead of the opposition. And danger for Barbican. Sending that one inside. Trying to find Reed. And it's still danger. But covered up by the goalkeeper, Donovan Walker. So danger averted again. Andrew Christie sends that one back to Dixon, who sends that forward. Finding Maurice Wilson who sends it back but intercepted by Pedler and now with Duncan McKenzie loses it and Romain Husang sends it forward intercepted by Watson Shea Bogle sends it across to Desmond Watson who sends it to Duncan McKenzie the substitute 
Duncan McKenzie sends it back. Bogle finds or trying to find Ryan Reed. And a foul. It will be a free kick to Barbican. As we see, actually Ricardo Reed getting ready to come onto the field. Romain Husang sends it across to Joel Nicholas. Nicholas. Still Nicholas. And just retained by or contained by Wayne Williams. As we see Christie turning and trying to find a pass. Trying to loop that ball for Malik Douglas. Eventually Malik Douglas latches onto it. Takes on the defender. Sends that one inside the 18-yard box. And headed on by Bogle. And a danger for Real Mona. It's Barbican with the possession and it's with Joel Nicholas. Nicholas sends it to Husang. Husang sends it across to find Christie. Christie with a shot. Blocked by Pedler. Goes behind for a corner to Barbican. 73 and a half minutes gone as we see two players from Real Mona down on the field. That was a very close call for Barbican and Real Mona playing better in the second half, creating a lot of chances, just not able to convert. So it's still locked at nil all. So Ricardo Henry is coming on for Barbican, just trying to confirm who is coming off for Barbican. Well, Sanji Rax or Rack X says that the number four Tajay Dixon should get more of the ball when I tell you he's one of the most exciting players. So you see that ball sent it side. Defensive work by Bogle. And the goalkeeper just letting that one run out. And it will be a corner to Barbican again. And so, the corner actually be taken. And uh, I tell you, the number four, he's one of the most exciting players on the field for Barbican, certainly. And probably one of the most exciting overall in this matchup. And... He tries different ways to get past his player. And very active, especially in the attacking situation or the attacking sense for Barbican. We see a ball swung in and it's still danger. Averted by Jordan Petrikin and sent inside again. And not able to latch onto it. It's still danger, Barbican. And the referee says foul. So it will be a free kick to Real Mona. Almost 77 minutes gone in this contest. Both teams still not able to convert at least one chance. It's locked at nil all.
And the goalkeeper says no play on. As we see Williams sending that ball forward, trying to find Gamoy Sibbles. Defensive work. And mistake by Dixon. And it's a collision between Mario McDonald and the goalkeeper, Donovan Walker. Shea Dixon sends that one across to Andrew Christie. Still Andrew Christie of Barbican. Still Andrew Christie and he's still being hounded by Jordan Petrick and had to force that ball across to Joe Nicholas. And Dixon tried the cheeky pass there to Shea Dixon but it falls to Sibbles. And now Sibbles of Ramona sends it back to Wayne Williams who sends it to Duncan McKenzie. And he goes into touch for a throw to Real Mona. Bogo with a throw. And now Barbican with the possession. Andrew Christie. And now Joe Nichols. And Nicholas sends it across to Malik Douglas, who sends it out of touch for a throw. Take it quickly. Now it's with Wayne Williams. Sends it to Duncan McKenzie. And McKenzie sends it back to Pedler. Pedler sends it forward, trying to find Gamoy Sibbles. Not the direction or the power that he wanted. And he goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. Just over 81 minutes gone in this contest. Sending that ball forward is Mario McDonald. And Malik Douglas trying to latch on to that one. He does. Taking on Desmond Watson and he doesn't win that one. So real Mona. Sending that ball forward. But Barbican with possession. Now it's with Joe Nicholas. To Tajay Dixon. Tajay Dixon loses it to Wayne Williams. Back to Bogle. Tajay Dixon, beautiful defensive effort. Oh, skips by Andrew Pedler. It's still Tajay Dixon. And sending it across. And Tajay Dixon, oh my word. The crowd is going absolutely crazy. That run by Tajay Dixon, by some measure, it's exciting. And 
now we see why he's the most exciting player on the Barbican team. Put it back to the goalkeeper, Pianite. Sends it across to Dixon. George Dixon sends it further to Phillips. Sends it back to Dixon. Trying to find Phillips. Goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. And now we see why our viewers and the fans here would want to see Tajay Dixon more on the ball. Such an exciting player. Charismatic at best. And a flashy player. He does actually prove that his moves are effective. Sharp moves by him, sharp turns. Defensive work, he lost it in at first, but he does get it back. Oh, brilliant move to get by Andrew Pedler. Then get by Desmond Watson. Turns and gets by Bogle. Tries to send that one across, but ends up trying to turn by Bogle again and falls. And that's the reason why he lost the ball, but sighting run by Dixon. Foul committed. And it will be a free kick to Real Mona. Intercepted. Very well done by Joel Nicholas. Send across to Malik Douglas. Malik Douglas has some time and space. Sends up one inside. And to Shea Dixon. Just unable to latch on to that one properly. And Joel Nicholas. Oh, beautiful work to get by Desmond Watson and tries to get by Shea Bogle. And trying to latch on to that one again is Nicholas, but it will fall to the boot of Malik Douglas. Sends up one inside again. And behind for a goal kick to Real Mona. The plot thickens here. Sending that ball to Maurice Wilson and a chance. That's the first goal of the contest. And that may be the goal that wins the game for Barbican. Brilliant ball sent in to Maurice Wilson and puts the game to bed as we believe. So, Close to 90 minutes gone and Barbican, they do lead by a goal to nil. The substitute, Maurice Wilson, the one who slots that one home, easy does it. And passes Pianite and Pianite will be angry with himself. He spoke about the defense of Real Mona. Well, the defense was sleeping somewhat and it led to a goal being converted. So... Ramona, they do lead, or they do trail, sorry, by a goal to nil against Barbican. As we see the goalkeeper, Donovan Walker, down for Barbican. Ramona starts all over. Bogle. Shea Bogle. 
Sends it to Wayne Williams. Intercepted by Tajay Williams. Fold. Or Tajay Dixon. Fold. Almost 87 and a half minutes gone. Wayne Williams with a run. Sending the ball inside. But it's Petrikin who sends it across to Pinnock. Pinnock sends it further to Ryan Reed. And now Barbican with possession. Sending that ball forward, trying to find the goal scorer, Maurice Wilson. Headed to Pedler, who sends it to Desmond Watson. Mackenzie couldn't latch on to that one. And now it's with Malik Douglas. He has so much time and space. And Malik Douglas trying to get by Andrew Pedler. Unable to do so. And now it's back with Real Mona through Duncan McKenzie who sends it across to Wayne Williams. One substitute to another. And now they can attack Real Mona trying to find an equalizer. Duncan McKenzie of Real Mona twisting and turning. Goal kick to Barbican. Almost 89 minutes gone. And with a late goal converted by Maurice Wilson. Barbican, they do lead by a goal to nil. So this would mean that Barbican would stay atop zone A on 13 points. With this win. And Romona would stay in fourth place with seven points and their goal difference would drop to zero so advantage barbican shea bogo almost lost possession for Ramona. sends it forward to gamoy sibyl and followed by Dadrian dixon so free kick to real mona Ninety minutes have elapsed. Sending that one inside is Andrew Pedler. Still with Real Mona. Send that one inside. Headed on by Dixon. Petrikin. It's that one across. Or right, it's actually Duncan McKenzie. And a little tussle between Tajay Dixon and Way Williams. And an opportunity for Real Mona. Everybody sent into enemy territory for Real Mona. The only person that is in friendly territory for Real Mona is the goalkeeper, Pianite, sending that one inside. Just a down by Tajay Williams who sends it across. And it's still danger. And he's sending that one inside. Oh, that was a brilliant save. A very good save by Donovan Walker. And Real Mona. It's actually a goal kick, but that was a very, very good shot by Desmond Watson. Turning. And then sending that one curling to the keeper's left. And he had to stretch. And it was a very good attempt by Watson. Sending that one upfield to Jay. Dixon couldn't latch on to that one. They still have possession. And now it is with Husang. Tries to send it up for Tajay Dixon. Pinnock sends it to McKenzie. McKenzie sends it across to Petrikin. Petrikin sends it up to Wayne Williams. 
Sends it across to Gamoy Sibbles. Sibbles with maybe the last chance. Sends that one inside and a shot. Almost latch on to that one is Peddler. And it's a throw to Real Mona. Take it quickly. Headed on by McDonald. Clearance. And Maurice Wilson, the goal scorer, will latch on to that one. And now Tejay Dixon sends it across to Malik Douglas. And Dixon sends it to Williams. And that is the end of that. Late conversion, but a conversion nonetheless. Maurice Wilson, the substitute with the only goal in the contest. So, at the end of the contest, 90 minutes have elapsed. And Barbican, they stretch their lead now. They win by a goal to nil. And don't forget, tomorrow, Red Stripe Premier League action at the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex, which is the temporary home for Cavaliers, and they do play Dumby Holding. And then we do the preview show for Monday Night Football, and it will be back at the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex as Arnick Gardens hosts Waterhouse. On behalf of myself and the team, we say good night. We are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This is the 